time for Money Monday, and today we are focusing on those ugh, looming tax returns. With the April 18th deadline quickly approaching, we are bringing you up to speed on what you need to know about filing that 2022 return. Okay, so here to help us out is the personal finance columnist for the Washington Post, Michelle Singletary. Thank you so much for being here with oh, us today. Pleasure. So we're less than a month away. Geo's here to make everyone procrastinating feel bad about themselves. Because I already did it. I'm he just... already filed. Uh, so if you're more like me and you haven't yet, what is some advice you have for some folks that still need to do it? So the number one thing is to file on time, particularly <laughs> if you owe money. Lots of people think if they file an extension, it's an extension to pay, but it's not. The IRS wants their money on the 18th, <laughs> you know, yes. give me my money. <laughs> yeah, don't wait, don't wait, especially don't wait. because we were talking about this, and this is why I try to do it so early, is because sometimes you have scammers That's who try right. to get yeah. in and take your return. That's right. So they get in and they file it, but if you get there first, you get they there don't have first. a chance. Right, you wow. file it and you get it in, um, and if you can, file electronically. Um, if you do need time to pay, contact the IRS. Don't listen to those ads that say, oh, you know, I'm gonna get you pennies on the dollar they are going to most of them going to scam you so just call the IRS and I know it's really scary because IRS you know has a reputation <laughs> and easy and quick it is oh, very it's easy and quick. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely Michelle what are some of the changes we're seeing this year so I think the first thing is the child tax credit um, you know in 2021 because we were in the middle of the pandemic they increased that credit well it's no more so as a 2022 you don't get that so it goes back to pre COVID limit which is up to twenty uh, two thousand dollars per child under 17 so in general some people might be seeing less money in their returns that's right uh, uh, IRS returns are down about 11 percent this year which actually I think is a good thing because mm -hmm. lots of people file for their taxes regularly to get a refund and that's like having the IRS hold your money for a year mm -hmm. and now that there's lots of uh, you can get a you know three to four percent on your bank account you want to get that money if you got credit card debt you want to get that money so that you can pay it during the year you know, I have a question when you're for example at your job and you're filling out the forms how do you know how much to contribute in taxes so that you don't owe anything at the yeah, end you talk to a tax pro or IRS has a withholding calculator that you go in, you put in your information, and it'll tell you how much, you know, roughly that you want to withhold. The idea is you pay a little or get a little bit back. But these huge checks, don't do that. And if you are going to do it, you know, just send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll handle it for you very well and give you back a little bit of money <laughs> of interest. <laughs> and I think the other thing is that now, um, you know, lots of people were worried about that $600 limit on the payment apps. Like you go to them. And right, you know, you right. split a tab, and they were worried that the IRS was going to come after them. No, it was never that case. It was only for people making money off of these payment apps. But they delayed that for a year. So you don't have to do that this year. And so that's what you're talking about with all these payment apps. What about like the Venmo payments, things like that? That's exactly right. So it's delayed for a year, but that doesn't mean that if you made money, you shouldn't pay the IRS. It just means that you don't have to hit a certain <laughs> level, you know? And I know people like, they don't need my money. But here's the thing, there is a benefit for filing. If you're a small business owner, for example, you know, you get social security. It, it depends on how much you in. And if you want to get a house, they want to see your tax return. Right, right, right. Your right. honest tax Yeah, because it's, it, oh, for the honest <laughs> She's keeping it real. Not that really double, <laughs> you know, two books, you know, you don't want to do that. A lot of people, they, they sell their stuff on like Facebook Marketplace, right? Yeah. And yes. So that's what you're talking about. Well, if you make a profit, so you've got a couch and you sold it, you bought it for 800, you sold it for 400, that's not it. If you, but if you're selling things and making a profit, oh, then okay. you get this 1099. See, I'm asking because I just moved and did just that. <laughs> I did but, too. But no profit, no, no profit. profits on anything. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's All right. right. <laughs> Any words of caution? So I think you be very careful about the tax professionals that you hire. If they yeah. say, I can guarantee you a $3,000 uh, ref uh, refund, I can guarantee mm -hmm. you they are nope. a fraud. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so be very careful because everything you put on that tax return, you are responsible for. You can't say, well, my Aunt Becky filled out my tax return, you know, go for her. <laughs> you know, no, you are responsible. So just be very honest when you file your taxes. Don't throw Aunt Becky under the bus. <laughs> no, no. A little personal responsibility. Okay, Uncle Roscoe, how about that? <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much. You're Again, so appreciate welcome. you always keeping it real. <laughs> and uh, for more of Michelle's financial advice, you can always check out her latest project, Money Milestones, in the Washington Post. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.